Good afternoon. Today's chapter is Genesis 2. Genesis 2, verse 1. Thus, the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array. By the seventh day, God had completed the work and had been he had been doing so on the seventh day he raised from all his work then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. This is the account of the heavens and the earth when they were created, when the Lord God made the made the earth and the heavens. Now no shrub had yet appeared on the earth, and no plant had yet sprung up. For the Lord had not sent rain on the earth, and there was no <coughs> one to work the ground. But streams came up from the earth and watered the whole surface of the ground. Then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. Now the Lord God had plant had planted a garden in the east, in Eden, and there he put man he had formed. The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground. Trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Verse 10. A river watering the garden flowed from Eden. From, from there it was separated into four headwaters. The name of the first is the Poseidon. It winds through the entire land of havoc, <clears throat> where there is gold. The gold of the land is good automatic reason and oxen were also there. The name of the second river is Gibeon. It winds through the entire land of Gush. The name of 
The third river is the Tigris. It runs through the east side of Asher. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. Thank you for bearing with me through all this. I know I'm reading slow, but I know I'm supposed to be doing this. Verse 15, the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, you are free to eat from the tree of in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. The Lord said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wind, animals, and all the birds in the sky, brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was his name. So man, so the man gave the names to all the livestock, the birds of the sky, and the wild animals. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. While he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made woman from the rib he took he had taken out of the man and brought her to the man. The man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She is called woman, for she has been taken of man. That was that is why a man leaves his father and mother and is entitled to his wife. They become one flesh. Adam and his wife were both naked and they felt no shame. Thank you for listening to that to today's Bible chapter. I will be back tonight with today's Bible verse. Thank you. God bless.